Navigating life after a stroke, today I am proud to introduce you to two people who are volunteering their time to help others do just that. It was 17 years ago when Richard Sill's life took a scary turn for the worse. When I had my stroke, I was 46 years old. In a moment, my basically my whole life changed. It was devastating. I thought my life was over. But it wasn't over. Having a stroke brought new meaning to Richard's life. After a long stay in the hospital, followed by a long stay with Gaylord Specialty Healthcare, Richard knew he needed to give back. When I heard about the peer mentor program and I was asked if I wanted to be part of it, without hesitation, I said yes. Now he helps others who are navigating life after a stroke or traumatic brain injury. The best part is, is meeting the patients and their families and, and trying to make a difference. And I really believe I am making a difference. My message is don't ever give up. And patients like Kim Lapman listen. When I came to Gaylord, I couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't see out of one eye and thought my life was over. Richard was right. There is life after a stroke. Here's Kim today, volunteering side by side with Richard, who was once her peer mentor. Together, the pair inspires, motivates, and mentors patients like Derek Rapicki, a 43-year-old father of three who has been at Gaylord since January following a stroke. Motivation. Absolutely. Bombs him. Life may not always go as planned, but you are here for yeah. a reason. Love it. I knew it wasn't my time. I knew I was going to come through this. And he did, and we know that anyone can suffer a stroke at any time. Very scary, but how can you tell when one is happening to someone nearby? Well, the American Stroke Association says to remember the acronym FAST, and let's talk about what it means. If you see someone with their face drooping, that's something that you need to look out for. Also, look at their arms. If they are complaining about weakness in their arm or both of them, also maybe having trouble speaking, listen to their speech, then you know it is time. Time. That's very important to call 911. And still to come here on Connecticut's Morning Buzz, we are talking about the